Alrighty guys, uh, we have the over, an over the sink dish drainer. We're gonna go ahead and get it out and put it together. I'll put a link down below in the description if you wanna check this out. But, uh, would've been easier to have a knife. Now this one definitely does have some assembly required. So we'll go ahead and put her together. So we need to put two of these feet. I just dropped it. So just screw it in nice and easy. Try to find that guy. There she is. Go ahead and put the feet in. This actually looks like it's going to be really easy to put together. Way, way better than the last one I did. Uh, the last one I did was horrible. For as small as it was. So anyway, uh, these are going to go with this part that extends out towards, you know, the part that extends out. I'm going to be on camera. Yes, it is. I have the camera set in the right spot for this. And uh, there we go. Put that down for a second. Do the same with this one. For now. So now it's saying to take the two C and the two, the C1 and the C2. It's going to be these guys. I'll have to figure out which what's the difference between them though here in a second. Could be four of each, right? And five of each, okay. So look at them that way, they're all the same. Look at them this way, they're all the same. Uh oh. oh okay, alright. So the C2s are the ones that are. Okay, so the C1s. I have a little bit of a bell here, just beyond the threads. The C2s, it's just straight. So, Alright, so C1 goes into C2. Do this times five. No, doesn't go that way. And I just twist in. five of them. Isn't this fun? Lost. From the looks of it, it's almost done. Okay, now you're going to take one of these and you're going to put your hooks on it. It says, I don't know, it shows like four hooks. One, two, three, no, it shows seven hooks. We want all the hooks facing the same direction, so we'll just put them all on there to face in the same direction. That's four, five, six, seven. Oh, I see eight. I only see seven in the picture, though. Maybe we got an extra one, or maybe they just didn't show them all. I'm going to set that down here for a second. <clears throat> and then the next step is where it gets all convoluted. I need to put stuff down. Alright, so. 
It wants, it wants those on the inside. Okay. So where this bar is tacked on here, I guess that's on the inside of it. So since this is going to be my outside here, inside here, we'll turn it so that that's the inside. Now it wants us to uh, manufacture this, put better pictures in because that is horrible for just figuring out where you want these. Right, they gave us a nice little Allen wrench to uh, tighten these down with, but we're going to try to start with finger tight for now. Take the little bolts, put them in. Hmm. I don't know, that's what it looks like it says to do. It's pretty easy so far, right? right? Now you gotta flip her over. I, I would suggest keeping these loose for now because and that way you can get them to where you need them. Put this over here. That way it's more in line with where we need it to be. And I'm just gonna slide these all. Make sure that we get it all lined up the same way. I'm a little confused on a couple of these. I'm sure it'll be fine, but uh, I mean the one goes through the side piece completely and the other one just goes through just the you know, rod part. So that one seems to have got, oh no, no. That's the way I was holding it. I'm sure it'll just tighten in though, I mean, just because it's not the same width is, what can, is what's in my head. It's, and, come on. Oh, she started. I 
need a bigger table, I think. Now, it did not say to put anything else in yet, just these. So now it says to stand it up, face it upright towards you. Uh, I'm going to face it upright towards me. Uh, should do it towards you, but I don't have enough room. I'd have to get up and go over there, I think. All right, so next step is E and F, which looks like... Oops. It looks like this is E. And it has the tab looking things towards the middle. Oh, no, there's tab looking things on both sides. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention there clearly. And there we go. Now it's still loose because I want to make sure everything gets on before I tighten her down. And then F, which there's only one F. So it's going to be the ones with the waves. <coughs> so see how it's the wavy one? It has waves. So on this side over here. There we go. It snaps right in. Does it matter which way the waves go? Can't tell by the picture which way the waves go. Yeah, I can't tell by the picture which way they go, but these do just snap right back off. So I don't think you have to loosen anything up to get it off. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to put part D in here, which I'm not sure how that works with hooks. Because you're going to have to move the hooks. Let's go with four over here and four over here. Just put the hooks right in the center. That way we can put this on those later. Awesome, so that's in there. Now, next step is, so facing me, we want to put the cup on. Doesn't show how the cup goes on. Yeah, I guess it does. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so this goes up here. No. Where's it, going? Where's it going? Looks like it goes right on here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and move that down so that we're not. There we go. So put the cup in. Put this little hole. And this one's going to go on this side here. If I can hold something, I'm not sure what. Uh, let's see, we got this little guy can go right here. Of course, you can move him. Is that where? That's where it shows. Why does it show? I don't understand that. It shows it goes there. But you put it there, it's just gonna. I mean, if you put something in, that's just going to slide, right? That makes no sense. But this guy goes over here to like drip catch, whatever. And of course, everything else drips right down into the sink. But this guy makes no sense why he's there. I mean, you can only see one. And it clearly doesn't show it over there. I don't know. But we'll leave it there for now, and then if we find a different place to put it, we'll put it somewhere else. But let's get everything tightened down. Which I should have got the power tool out for this, but I have to get up, go grab it. 
Well, batteries should be in it. But I gotta find the right bit and might be easier just to just to use my hand. I mean I'd still be I'd still be trying to find the find it. And I know exactly where it is, I'm just saying I, it would, I would be walking to it still. And when I got the last one I did a video on, uh, I had wanted an over the sink model. Someone else got the wrong thing, so they got one that went beside the sink instead of over the sink. So I, I this at least now I get the one I wanted, right? I just hope. I hope it's wide enough to go over the sink. I'm sure it is. I don't know, because it I'll have to pull it forward because you got a shelf right above the sink too. So it's alright. Maybe I'll maybe I'll remove that shelf. I don't know. Put that back on there. Get on there. There you go. Still not sure what these. What? I don't know what these hooks are gonna do. I. It seems like the hook should have been maybe down here, but it shows them here. I don't know. Can you can you guys see that that these hooks? Are right here. Uh, I mean, you're, you're gonna be able to. I guess you could hang coffee cups on them. Hey, I mean, you have to reach completely under the shelf to do it. Which I would have thought down yeah, here would have been better, but I could follow the instructions. You can't even see them on the picture, so you probably can't even see them in the camera, but they're like right here. Right behind this. And this guy, he's still just hanging there, just hanging out, so. Uh, that's where it says to put it. She's together. Let's go uh, put her, put her where she needs to be, and then maybe we we'll use her and see how she works. Oh, there you guys go. That's what it looks like over top of the sink. Uh, did some dishes there just to, just to get some, just to have something to hang into it. Uh, that sugar is behind it, so uh, it's a shelf that I might have to move the shelf to get it pushed back a little bit more. Then I gotta find a place to put the stuff that's in the shelf, but it's it's fine. It'll be fine where it's at for now. I mean, but the faucet comes up right over top of it, and plenty of plenty of storage space. Uh, didn't have much dishes to do though. And pardon, I got lots of coffee sitting there. So, uh, all right. Oh, well, I'm happy with it. Uh, definitely freed up that whole countertop there. So, yay, more space. Uh, which I don't have much of anyway.